Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this video is a reflection on my YouTube career with a few notes about 2017 towards the end. But I wanted to say that my initial use of YouTube was simply to document and share what I'm discovering. And it's still true today. That hasn't changed. But I had made a conscious decision not to try to be published in research articles. And there was a few um, aspects that I had to look into to really make that decision. It took me a few years to make that decision. But I want to get my information straight to you, to the broad general public, for free. So um, the research is for researchers mostly, meaning if there's some great research on echinacea and it gets published in PubMed, it mostly just sits there. We have a million medical doctors in the United States and their license dema <coughs> demands that they use drugs. So herbal research, research on minerals, research on vitamins is totally ignored. And it's, it's, a, it's kind of a shame. I didn't want to play that game. I didn't want to include myself in a group of people that are ignoring the natural um, therapies. Also in 2001, the big journals like the New England Journal of Medicine and JAMA said that they would take research from corporate interests also. They used to have a policy where they would only take non-biased research from universities or something like that but it became harder and harder to accept only that type of research. So they started accepting research that was driven by money. That was 2001. And again, I didn't want to play that game. I didn't want to get involved with that. Also, I met some science writers and scientists from Pfizer. Pfizer used to have their world headquarters in Ann Arbor, and I was not impressed by these people. And I didn't want to get involved in that group. I also met some researchers from the University of Michigan Hospital, and uh, based on their actions, I also didn't want to get involved with that. I have a friend who currently works at University of Michigan Hospital. He's a psychologist, and he said to me, hey, you should do some research and publish through the uh, federal grants. There's a guy at U of M right now, he's studying fibromyalgia, and it's a total joke. And there's no oversight. He does research that means nothing. Like, does meditation help fibromyalgia? Does drinking more water help fibromyalgia? He's, and I said, no thanks. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be part of that joke. I want to do real research. I really want to help people. And there's got to be information somewhere that already has figured out where fibromyalgia comes from, um, how cancer cells metabolize, what really causes a heart attack. So lo and behold, in 2016, I had figured that out. And thankfully, I'm not wrapped up in a hospital system or insurance system where I'm being controlled. I have nobody overseeing me, and I can figure this stuff out on my own. I want to say that I'm a discoverer and not an aggregator on YouTube. What that means is we have Dr. Berg, Dr. Bergman, Dr. Axe, and Dr. Mercola. Those are my top four favorites and they gather information and they put a lot out on their blog on their website on youtube and facebook i know dr berg does two videos a day and a few weeks ago dr axe did two five videos in one day and i don't do that i still practice full-time i see patients three solid days a week and i run two other businesses besides my office i'm starting a fourth business and uh, so you so i'm not a, an aggregator on youtube I let other people do that. My job is to find out what's missing in healthcare, and then I present that. So to reflect on 2017, I had two favorite videos. And the first one was how veganism and ketosis both have a positive effect on the mechanism of chronic disease, lactic acidosis. And the name of the video, it's right here, it's veganism versus ketosis. One week earlier, I had done a video called uh, Juicing versus Ketosis. So here's that video right now. And in that week, I was thrilled to come up with this information. And I uh, have old books where these doctors from the 40s and 50s and earlier talk about lactic acidosis being the mechanism of chronic disease. 
And the vegans didn't like that. Now, I like ve- I like people, whether you are plant-based or not. But from that day forward, week after week after week, I got nasty comments. I got friendly comments. I got comments telling me I'm wrong. I got comments that were pages and pages of research showing how veganism is the best diet. But it comes down to this. It's the best diet compared to what? It's better than the standard American diet. And that's what all that research shows over decades and decades that veganism is a better diet than the standard American diet. So that brings me to my second favorite video that I made. And it's on how ketosis or cycling ketosis is better than veganism for the three major diseases, heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. And there was research to back that up, and I presented that, and that's videos right here. Once I put that video up, it's been about five weeks now, uh, I've only gotten one comment from one vegan telling me how I'm wrong, and here's the research, and all. And so I just gave him that link, and I haven't heard back from him, and I've had no vegans tell me how I'm wrong since I put up that video. So that's my 2017. It was from the springtime through through December, that I just was bombarded with vegans telling me how wrong I am. So now I'm not saying vegans are mean people. Um, I know meat eaters who are mean. And I read comments, not just on my channel, but on the other channels too. The vegan channels, meat eaters say the nastiest thing (laughs) on those channels. But we're all just human beings circling around on this planet Earth, flying through outer space, and we're dealing with our own stuff up in here. And my job is to help you get your body better. Okay, now if you're a vegan for uh, spiritual or religious reasons, fine. If you're a vegan to try to save the planet, that's cool too. My job is to help people stay healthy. Period. So now that those attacks are done, I feel like I'm retired. And uh, I don't have to respond to nasty comments anymore. Or try to prove myself that I'm right. I just refer back to that that, uh, video from December. And I also, and I've said this before, I think I have the smartest YouTube commenters and viewers. I learn from you and even the vegans who posted these links, et cetera, et cetera. I read them and I went to the links. I went to the studies and I had to like figure out this puzzle as to um, what they're saying. I tried to get their viewpoint and it was very helpful. So I'm not afraid of of having um, uh, research links that... Uh, go against what I'm saying. That's totally fine. I'll, I'll learn from it. And the point here is that from here forward, I'm going to continue doing research to try to simplify uh, the message as to how to get better to fix the cause and the mechanism and fix the clinical symptom picture. you got to fix all three. And there are new products coming out at an, at an accelerated pace. I've been in practice 20 years now. I meet more and more people who are very smart making their own new products for sale to the public, and now is a more exciting time than ever before in the natural healthcare world and natural body care products too than ever before. So um, these are my reflections on my YouTube career in 2017. I know it's already two thirds of the way through January, and a lot of people do their 2017 reflections at January 1st. But um, I was working with Vainisco on how to help get calcium out of arteries and tackling that subject. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're new, share with others, and I look forward to helping you out more um, through the upcoming years. All right, take care.